hello guys welcome back to knitting catalog i'm happy to be in your presence today today is another beautiful day and another beautiful tutorial you know knitting for babies so today we are going to you know knit together a baby's pinafore skirt a baby pinafore skirt you know so i'm going to use punch card and this is like it's just like card four you know the normal card four but it's being punched in a large way of card four you know card four is two rows of each box but this is four rows of each box so i'm going to knit it you know with different colors so guys i want to say if you are just coming by my channel for the first time you are welcome and you need to subscribe so that we can enjoy knitting together in knitting catalog and if you are assisting subscriber i really appreciate you for being here and you know standing by me so guys let's go into the business of today so here is the needle i'm going to use so it's going to be a one piece skirt okay right now guys let's see how to knit this i'm going to use green as my main color so i'm going to go ahead and cast on 83 by 83 needle so this is the needle i'm going to work with 83 by 83 needle so i'm going to do a wrap on there so, so i'm going to start by doing the hem of the skirt so i'm starting from the down from the down of the skirt so this baby skirt is for six months old you can see what we have by casting on with e wrap so right now i'm going to use the main tension for the body of the skirt and the main tension for this skirt is tension eight so i'm going to go ahead and turn my tension to eight so that's it guys so i'm going to need five rows right now so so guys here is the fifth row right now so you know that when you are knitting with brother knitting machine you have to inform your knitting machine you want to go into punch card knitting by knitting one row you know to inform the machine so i'm going to knit the sixth row to inform the knitting machine then i have to find where the first box you know this is four rows of the box so i have to look for where the first box will start so that it will start from halfway and i've checked that and it's number three in my card so i'm going to go down to number three so that's number three and i'm going to leave the card on hold so i'm going to turn this right now and i have to hang weights comb on this wall because i'm going into punch card meeting right i'm going to turn my tension to nine and a half and knit one row you remember this is on you know to bring out the pattern in my punch card so so you can see what we have so i'm going to change my tension back to eight i'm going to open the card to small size you know i open the card to small size of the card so right now guys i'm going to go ahead press this center button of my carriage that's it then i'm going to attach this to the second place of the yarn feeder and knit four rows according to the pattern in the punch card so so you can see what we have guys so right now i'm going to change the color of the second yarn and knit another four rows so that's it guys i'm going to fold this as you know a band to the skirt you know we are starting from the hem of the skirt so this is a band to the skirt the hem band to the skirt so i'm going to fold this as a band 
so guys you can see what we have right now after folding the bound so this is what we have and you know that in brother knitting machine there is a way the needle have to be when you are knitting porch card i've already noticed that so i'm going to push my needle on how it's supposed to be that is i'm going to push out the next needles that the punch cut is supposed to push out i've already noticed that before folding because i know that folding will make them to disappear but i've already noticed which needle is supposed to be out to deep position so right now this band i'm going to record it as eight rows you know i've knitted eight rows of the punch card so i'm going to go to my you know row counter and you know record eight rows then going ahead right now to push the needle that's supposed to be on deep position out to deep position so i'm going to hang weight on knit before continue knitting in my pattern so guys after putting everything in place and i just want to remind you that we cast on 83 by 83 needle for six months old baby skirt pinafore so i'm going to use five colors against the green you know just to do it color block pattern with this card i've explained earlier so i'm going to continue interchanging these five colors till when i knitted 90 rows so i'm going to knit 90 rows already i've count this as eight rows so i'm going to knit more 82 rows to make it 90 so i'm going to be interchanging these colors as i'm knitting in four rows each because the punch card is four rows as in the block pattern of it and as earlier said that this is something like card four a bigger one of cat four cat four is just two rows and this is four rows so let's go ahead and knit up to 90 rows so guys i'm at 88 rows right now so if i'm going to knit two rows to make it 90 so you have to be another color that is not complete so i just want a complete color so right now i'm going to stop at 88 so i need two rows of plain you know the plain green as the background color so i'm going to off all the setting of my carriage you know put the carriage on hold and turn this to plain then i'm going to need two rows right now to make it 90. so guys that's 90 rows right now we are at 90 rows so i'm going to make a decrease right now i'm going to leave three needle and decrease the fourth needle just like three by one needle so I'm going to do that to all the needle cast on, you know. So the easiest way to decrease right now. So I'm just trying to decrease so that I can get the required needle for the band of the skirt. You know, the required needle for the skirt band. So, so this is just like three by one to all the castor needle you remember it's 83 by 83 needle so that's it guys so you can see what we have here just like three by one setting of needle so i'm going to need two rows right now with the name color that is green so two rows right now I didn't change my intention so after the two rows so i'm going to knit with waist yarn and fold this work right now and fix it back on 62 by 62 needles so that will be the waistband needle so i'm going to go ahead to do away with all this 
beautiful colors yarns i'm having here so just to do away with them then i'm going to knit them up so right now i'm going to knit with waist yarn So that's it guys knitting with the waist here and then i'm going to remove my comb and the weights and fold this work right now i'm going to drop it in order to fix it back on 62 by 62 needle need empty carriage on it that's it you can see the beautiful work we have here guys you can see how beautiful the work is so right now I'm going to turn my carriage back to my right side and start to fix this right now so so guys I've already fixed all of them back to 62 by 62 needles so I'm going to lose the waist here completely so guys I'm going to return my needle back to B position I don't want to need extra room to push them back so guys that's it then I'm going to hang little weight on it and set my needle back to two by one rib knitting the band of the baby's skirt and i'm setting my needle back to two by one rib right now then after setting it back to two by one rib i'm going to knit 38 rows with tension six 38 rows with tension six and i'm going to fold it then bind off that's the end of the baby's skirt then the next thing is to go ahead and knit the belt to make it in a four so guys after setting it to two by one rib i'm going to change my tension back to six and knit 38 rows so i'm going to fold right now So guys, after folding, I'm going to bind off loosely because it's a skirt band. I don't want it to be tight. So I'm going to bind off loosely. So use any method that you know that you can use to bind off loosely. So, so guys, you can see what we have right now as the skirt. So... So I'm going to go ahead to knit the belt, you know, the belt that will make it a pinafore. So let's see. Guys, I've cast on for the baby pinafore belt, you know, to use at the shoulder side. And I'm going to knit the two alike. It's going to be two. So it's going to be alike, the same knitting, the same measurement. So this is nine needles you know being brought out right now for the belt so i'm going to a wrap on them so that is cast on nine needles so i a wrap on them to cast on so the yarn is two you know this is three ply wool and this is six ply just like this so i want the belt to be steady i want it thick i don't want to fold it so and i'm going to knit in a way that is not going to have a rolling edge so let's see then i'm using tension 10 because it's double yarn so i'm going to go ahead and knit two rows right now so i'm going to use my hand to hold it because my antenna may not be able to withstand the stress of you know knitting the two yarns together 
So that's row one. I'm going to push them out. The second row right now. So I'm not going to use any weight on them because using weights on them may not make me to you know get the actual length i want when i want to measure it so i'm not going to use any weight on them so i'm going to be pushing them out i'm going to be pushing the needle out and knit the two rows so i'm going to continue and knit another two rows right now so i'm going to set my row counter right now for this knitting to help me monitor how the knitting the rows have knitted so so i'm going to register two right now so i'm going to knit the two rows right now again push it out and knit so that's four rows so right now i'm going to be you know doing this at interval of two rows each so i'm going to go to this needle and leave one at the edge then i'm going to transfer one stitch on on the needle at the edge then bring out the heel of this next stitch and hang it on the empty needle so i'm going to do same at the side of or I'm going to do same at this side also. Then take the heel and hang it on the empty needle. Then I'm going to push them out to E position and knit two rows. So I'm going to be repeating this at interval of two rows till when i get to 164 rows so see you guys at 164 rows so guys i'm at 164 rows right now so i'm going to make a buttonhole so the buttonhole is going to be two so right now at 164 i'm making a buttonhole but i have to do my normal transfer of stitches first so going ahead to transfer then at the middle needle so you can see it's nine needles so at the middle one i'm going to make a buttonhole space in that place so hanging it on this and i'm going to bring it back to work and push everything to and push every and push everything to a position on my bed then i'm going to need two rooms so you can see what we have here so right now i'm going to go ahead and you know do my normal way of transferring for another extra eight rows so you can see what we have guys you can see how steady it is please don't put weight on it make sure you put your needle to e position you know bring them out to knit your two rows so you can see how steady and the edges are not rolling back so that's it guys so right now the total row for this belt is 180 rows so right now i'm at 166 so i need to knit down to 174 and i create another button hole so going ahead to knit to 174 right now so guys i'm at 174 right now i'm going to make another button hole but transfer the stitches first before making the o
So, right now, guys, I need to need four rows to make it 180. Then after 180, I'm going to need two rows and bind off. So that's the end of the belt. Then you can go ahead and make the second one alike. So that's it. So I want to say the belt is taking time. So you don't need to hurry. Just find time and you know and knit the belt. You can even knit the belt before the project. Just keep it somewhere and you can now go ahead with the project. So don't just worry about it is what's doing you can see how it's pretty it's what's doing so thank you guys so you can see what we have as the belt so you can see So guys, the next thing is to make top for the skirt, you know. So right now I have in front of me 43 by 43 needles. 